bit of silly moustache here. You know, one of the nicest things about um, putting videos up on YouTube is the comments I get. And I got one uh, yesterday, day before, from, on an, an older video saying, I find myself posting just to say thank you for so generously sharing your knowledge and experience. And that was from a gentleman called Simon uh, Miles. Thank you very much, Simon. Um, I'm embarrassed now. Um, but he can ask me some other questions. And put that down and stop my slovenly slouch on the sofa. Um, he says, I'd be interested to know your thoughts on guitar size and string tension. Many people say you can't strum or flat pick smaller short scale guitars. Mm -hmm. I also see the logic that a larger standard scale guitar will have more headroom and at least in theory it should respond better to strumming and or flat picking. Is there really no substitute for a dreadnought when it comes right down to it? Um, and then it says, can you suggest something in the mid-size for those of us who are physically smaller? Um, I'm only little myself. Uh, and um, mostly just want to play comfortably at home in a chair or a sofa. Hence my pose. Well, thank you, Simon. Um, and thank you, after a pat on the back like that, I had to make a video response. So here it is. Excuse me. First of all, size and string tension. Well, this is my personal view. I only use light gauge or medium gauge phosphor bronze strings. There have been some exceptions, but generally speaking, phosphor bronze. <coughs> um, I use lights on my triple zero, we'll come back to that, and smaller, and mediums on my dreads, my jumbo, my resonators, uh, and my arch tops. Um, <clears throat> I looked up some tension figures this morning. I hope I've got this right. Martin, oh, I'll read from my notes, actually. Um, the right page. Uh, uh, that's not the right one. Okay, I'll read from this. Um, Martin Lights seem to be £169, whereas the Dario's 161 169 £161. And Mediums, Martin's 190 uh, the Dario's 185 Sounds a bit odd, but they, they're all within a relatively close margin, I would say. I use other brands too, of course, and I'm currently flirting with DR Rares, I don't know their tensions. Um, I do think that it is strange to put light gauge strings on a dreadnought. To me it's a little bit like putting bicycle tyres on an SUV. And the same in reverse, putting uh, a medium gauge strings on um, a smaller lighter guitar seems odd. Um, I'm, I should imagine they'd probably be okay, but you should actually take advice from the builders of your guitars before you go off standard as it were. Um, you can't strum or flat pick smaller short scale guitars. Oh there's that strum again. Okay well this is my smallest guitar. This is a size O by Eastman. A lovely round shaped tone. Oh strum. is all right but you'll see that the, that the focus is really around those um, top three strings and strumming can get a little bit can you flat pick Actually, you can play any style on any style of guitar. Uh, it's your choice. Whether it is best suited is, of course, another matter. Um, right, page two. Um, he said, I suppose strumming, that word, 
um, is best on a middle bias instrument. Well, yes, actually, um, it's something like, I mean, typically, what people use. So I use something like a, a J45 or something like that. Um, uh, for flat picking, I would say a more detailed, um, well, you know, flat picking with a boom chick style with bass runs and, and um, breaks. I would say probably the main preference would be um, the slightly more bass biased Martin Dread. I prefer to play um, more evenly balanced guitars like my Collings uh, 12 frets. Perfectly balanced from bass to treble. Bass to treble. Um, and this was the ethos that Martin had all through their guitar making career up until the 14 fret dreadnought and actually Chris Martin is on YouTube somewhere actually making that statement so believe it. Um, smaller guitars um, surely the tone will be more compressed well they are more compressed yes um, and that's the point because they were designed to be balanced not bass heavy or treble heavy but even and they weren't really designed for strumming but there we are um, okay so um, it's yes it's a more compressed sound I suppose but um, there we are uh, I think that also answers number three. So finally, is there really no substitute for a dreadnought when it comes right down to it? If you're talking about playing rhythm guitar in a five-piece bluegrass band, it's got to be a dreadnought. Nothing else is really going to work. I've seen people try. Um, the only person I've seen try, and it's probably because of the good sound, was Peter Rowan, who tended to play a triple O. Now that brings me on to the other thing. He said, can you suggest something in the mid size for those of us who are physically smaller um, and mostly just want to play comfortably at home on a sofa or a chair? Right, well, I've made videos about my ideas about chair and how to sit on them for posture and things like that. I'm sitting on a sofa, but I'm not, I don't do that, but I do do that and this upper leg is parallel to the floor. So, what's the first one? Well, let's be ridiculous for a moment. This is my biggest guitar. This is a five inch deep Royce Mech by Santa Cruz. Look at my right shoulder. It's right up there, yeah. Seem to be stuck on I'm a Pilgrim at the moment. Uh, it's not really suitable. I can feel strain in my lower back along here straight away and it will follow my shoulder. Um, seriously, if you don't want an O or a double O, I can't think why you wouldn't. This is my triple O. This is my triple O that I use um, for most of my teaching, my Zoom lessons. I have some vacancies, by the way. This is a standard scale, but light strings, a smaller but perfectly on. This was the biggest Martin uh, guitar uh, from 1902, I think it came out, until um, the Dreadnought in 1931. There you are. It's effectively the same size as what they now call the OM and things like that. The OM was just this, reduced in size there, um, and with a thinner neck. Standard, same scale. And the OM, remember, was designed for playing in orchestras um, as a rhythm guitar to replace the tenor banjo. Is that all there is? Well, there is one other thought. We need, um, we, we need a thinner body rather than a, a wider or a narrower body. So how about one of these things? Could I slump with this? Well, kind of, but um, yeah, so.
16 inch arch top, wide but narrow. So there we are, those are your options. I hope that's covered your questions, Simon. Um, in the meantime, if you have more questions, Simon, or anybody else, please write them underneath this. I read them all and I try to answer them all in one way or another. And um, uh, again, uh, I do actually have some vacancies if anybody's interested in one-to-one um, -one lessons via Zoom. If you have been, thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.